Why, hello there, and welcome back to another installment of me gushing over the works of Yone Dako. As I mentioned before, I have no social life and I spend most of my time working. This leaves me utterly clueless as to what's trending nowadays, so that's my excuse for coming up with a tier list in late 2020. But hey, even though the next chapter of Sizer isn't coming until March, we all need some Sizer for Christmas. So take this as my Sizer Christmas gift for everyone in this lovely fandom. Roll intro. Okay, so tier lists are so 2018. Which means... But, there is no Yonadako character tier list, or at least a Sizer character tier list out there on the World Wide Web. So I took it upon myself to rectify that. Now, as we all know, no Yonadako character is a bad character, so I took the freedom to modify the list a little bit. Spice it up. Make it more specific to my tastes and feelings. And so, S tier becomes sex on legs tier, because those characters are just too hot for YouTube. Almost every character is sexy in their own way, but a select few are extra, extra special. Moving on, A tier is my adorable woodfuck tier. Not every character will make me drop everything and strip, but that doesn't mean they're not amazing and deserving of love. A tier is a very respectable spot. B tier is my bestie tier, because I love those characters so much, but for one reason or another I'd rather be friends with them than bed them. Besties are still sexy though. C tier is for all the characters that I am conflicted about for one reason or another. This usually means I like some parts of them, but also dislike some parts of them. They have the potential to become besties, but also dirtbags. Speaking of, D tier is for dirtbags. There aren't that many of them, I think, but oh, when you encounter a dirtbag, you just know it. Lastly, F tier is for fiends. Fiends are a special type of dirtbag that are so heinous they need their own category. Those characters I would kill with my own hands. You already know who goes in here even without me telling you. So without further ado, let's look at our characters. Mandatory, this is just my opinion, so don't take offense. One, spin that wheel. And first we got Onodaryo from Even So I Will Love You Tenderly. Okay, I'll start off with saying that I tested as Onoda in that Yonedako character type test that's floating online. I'll link it in the description if you'd like to take it too. It's quite fun actually. But that being said, I adore Onoda and I'm not sure what that says about myself. <laughs> yes, I loved him just as much before I found out that I'm supposedly like him, but to me he doesn't really give off that much top energy, he just happens to be with a submissive guy. And even that sounds like me, yike. <laughs> anyway, he's a cinnamon roll. I love how thoughtful and open he is and how he's generally honest about his feelings. That being said, I can't really see him as sex on legs because he's too much of a cinnamon roll. I want to hold him and tell him he's doing his best, but also, I wouldn't say no to his advances. So yeah, he goes in the adorable section. A two. Oh ho ho, we got Togawa Yosuke from Doshitemo Furetakunai. I'm gonna put Togawa in the S tier here because he's my first Yonedako crush. When I first read Doshitemo Furetakunai, I was smitten with him, and when I watched the live action, I was even more smitten. I'd recommend watching the live action because for once, it's not too cringe and sticks pretty closely to the source material. But good luck finding it in non-potato quality. It exists on YouTube, but you have to be desperate to watch it in 480p. But that being said, I did just that. That's how much I love Togawa. He's open-minded, he's a great leader, knows how to keep the discussion going, and people generally love him. He's everything I aspire to be, and I'd let him smash. Three. Ugh, Hirata. As I mentioned previously in my analysis of the Klaus Gather, you can find it here by the way, I think Hirata has the personality of a raging steroid. There should be a category here dedicated just to Hirata because nobody's a bigger asshole than he is. I don't think anyone will fight me on this. Into Fiend you go. F is for FUCK YOU! And our number 4 is... Ryuzaki! Ryuzaki is my weakness. I love this man. He's about the only tsundere I've ever found endearing. At first, I thought he was going to be a dirtbag, but he just has Yakuza appearances to keep up. I think he's really a cinnamon roll deep inside who ended up on the wrong side of the law. He does have a violent and taunting side to him, but he's a gangster, it comes with a job description. And yet the way he cares about Yashiro and fell in love with him as a young man really gives me such warm fuzzy feelings. He's adorable. I would fuck. Yeah. And our number 5 is... Deguchi Harumi, also from Seredemo. I love how dedicated this man is. 
He wants Onoda and he won't stop pursuing him. He even admits that he has less than pure intentions, but that doesn't stop him, which I find incredibly realistic. It's interesting to me how he's such an active pursuer of Onoda, yet he's a hard bottom too? Fascinating. I vibe more with Onoda though, so Deguchi will have to go in my bestie category. Moving on, number 6 is... Kagashima Masato, the transporter in Knights. He's a good transporter, and despite saying he doesn't handle dead bodies, I trust him to handle my dead body. Even my live body. I love the way he finagles his way around outwitting Masaki. He's really honest too, which is unexpected for someone in his line of work, but that being said, I find him less sexy than Masaki. So he goes in my adorable group. I still want him. Just because he kept talking during sex because he was nervous and he admitted it? That takes brass balls. Seven. Yuakitaru from the colorless days of Yuakitaru. I'm pretty sure that title is supposed to be an homage to the Murakami book, Colorless Tsukuru Tazaki and His Days of Pilgrimage, but I don't know, so someone tell me if they know what Yoneda sensei was thinking when she named it that. Okay, let's move on. I'm conflicted about Yuaki. No, not C tier type of conflicted. On the one hand, I think he's very sexy and I would trust him with my life. On the other hand, he's starting to go into endearing old man territory, and with the baggage of his failed marriage and dead children, I would probably feel ill-equipped to stand by his side, honestly. For that reason, he's not going in S, but I'ma give him an A because he is adorable and he is very competent in his job. Please update this manga more often, Yonada sensei I want to see Yuaki being carefree again. And I don't mean the carefree mask he always has on. We know the difference. Next! Eight goes to Yashiro. This man is the definition of sex on lights. This category was created because of him. And well, he kind of was sex on legs, quite literally. Until the time skip, pretty much. But as of chapter 43, he clings to his will do it to anybody label, so for now I'm gonna put him in ass. But I really think he's a lustful cat only for Domiki at this point, though. Either way, that body. That body. Calm down, son. It's just a drawing, not the real thing. No. Shima Toshiaki from Doshitema Fuyotakunai. I'll admit, at first I didn't like Shima. I was a Togawa stan, and I thought Shima was not that cool. I low-key thought that Shima was not good enough for Togawa. <laughs> loser! You're a loser! Are you feeling sorry for yourself? But I love the story so much, and I came around. Congratulations. Really good job. Shima's personality is a great fit for Togawa, and I like that he's not overly girly or overly tsundere. He's shy, but he's blonde and he has a really sharp tongue. IRL were actually quite similar, which is probably why I like Togawa more. I also like that Shima knows how to take care of himself and pushes Togawa to do the same. He'd make a good friend for me. Although I prefer to be the sharp-tongued one, every now and then I need someone to show me the mirror too, and Shima would do that for me. Number 10. Nanahara! I love Nanahara so much. So much. But his fashion sense. It's too much for me, man. Those shirts, man! I'd be his bestie any day. Kamiya can have him in bed though. Can we please see that, Sensei? It's been a hot second since Yoneda Sensei wrote a doujin, and I think this would be a great way to make a comeback. Comment down below if you also want to see Nanamiya in 2021. Let's make a new hashtag. Vote now on your phones. 11 is... Masaki Hazumi, who is the undercover cop in Nights. I almost regret he's not a real Yakuza because he'd be one of my favorite Yakuza ever if he was. I like his serious face and non-aggressive behavior. I much prefer men who look like they could destroy me with their words rather than their body. And the fact that he has no reactions makes him oddly seductive to me. He reminds me of post timeskip Domeki, just more brainy and less bulky. I just have a weakness for him, I can't explain it, just like Kagashima does. This man would fuck with my heart so bad. But even so, he goes in S tier, which you might think is extra, but I just can't help myself. You feel enough emotion in that? It's like Niagara Falls out there! 12. Number 12 is Amo. Actually, I don't know his other name. Is Amo his family name or his given name? Someone tell me. <laughs> What's Amo's full name? 
Anyway, I know a lot of people in the fandom who love Amo, but he freaks me out a bit. He has such Dom energy to me. He looks like the kind of man who'd rip out your fingernails with a straight face. He's perfect for the Yakuza regardless of what Misumi says. That being said, I'm too scared of him to actually trust him with my body. Like, I'm not sure if I'll come out of it alive. <laughs> I'd much rather have him as my bestie so he can rip my enemy's fingernails out with a straight face instead of mine's. Win-win! <laughs> Go off! <laughs> Alright, 13. Ooh, 13 is Domiki! Finally got to him! That's what I'm talking about! Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah! I put Yashiro in sex on legs, but Domiki is actually my ideal man. Of all the people in this list, he's the one who could kidnap me and I wouldn't even try to escape. He's tall, well built, and his gaze just cuts through like a katana. I love his scars, they add character. You already know how much I love him just from my first size of a video. I could keep gushing about him for hours on end, but I'll stop for the sake of my partner who has to edit this video. Sorry, hun. <laughs> it's okay, pay him in sexual favors. Go to horny jail. 14. Uh, Inami. Inami is another asshole, but at least he's also dumb. He seems to be all bark and no bite because although he treats Yashiro like an ass, Yashiro still has the upper hand. That being said, I detest this man. He has an infect personality. Into dirtbag he goes. The measles are sounding pretty good right now. 15! Kageyama. Welp, let me brace myself. <laughs> Kage is a complicated one for me because I love and hate him depending on how much he turns up his obliviousness. He has moments when he's a sweetheart and tries his best to be the best friend he can be, but he also has moments where I question how he got to be 36 and still be thick as a brick. I usually give him the benefit of the doubt because he does have good intentions most of the time, but nonetheless I would not fuck him and if he was my bestie I'd frankly be disappointed at his overall ignorance. So he goes in conflicted for me. Sorry, Kagema fans, I know I'm committing a sin against you. I apologize deeply. I'm really hoping he can redeem himself in the future chapters of Saizuru because I really want nothing more than for him to be as good of a friend as he wants to be to Yashua. <gasps> okay, moving on. 16 is... Kuga. This kid has guts. He's also a lot more perceptive than Kagema. I'll take him as my bestie because he's also too dazzling for me. I have a little bit of an old man energy myself, just like Kagama. <laughs> Maybe that's why I love and hate him too. He reminds me of myself sometimes. <laughs> Moving on. And the last character on our list is Misumi. Okay, old man, don't have me killed for this, but you're going the conflicted pile as well. Uh, I can explain. I like that Misumi took care of Yashiro. I like that he's not that violent of a guy and he's pretty dignified. He's also really perceptive most of the time. I even like the fact that he kept Amo close and let him be part of his group despite thinking he was not suited for the Yakuza, according to chapter 43 spoilers. But he's very possessive, barely controlling, and nothing ever comes for free with him if you know what I mean. He is a Yakuza, so that's not a surprise, but he's not exactly a kind old man for me to put him in an adorable or bestie. He had Domeki beat up, he tries and luckily fails to keep Yashiro on a short leash, and did hardly anything to prevent Hirata from almost killing Yashiro. I like him, but I also hate him sometimes. He's daddy, for sure, but I don't want him to be my daddy. Daddy, no! Daddy, yes! That's all I have to say about that. Alright, that was the last one. Phew. I hope you enjoyed and don't have the urge to make me into a voodoo doll that you want to stab repeatedly. But if you do, that's okay too, as long as you put me out of my misery fast. I'm here for a fun time, not a long time. Or better yet, make your own Yonadako character tier list and link it in the comments. Let me know what your tier list would look like, what other size or content you'd like to see, or just say hi. I'm lonely. See you next time!